Hi, I'm Jay Porter from Prime Acoustic and we're here today in Full Compass's control room to show off a couple of the Prime Acoustic products we have installed here. The very first thing here we have on the back wall is some of our radiator diffusers. Now these are not true diffusers in, in a, a defined sense. What they are is more of a sound scattering device. As you can see, you can see the wall surface back here. A, a true diffuser is going to have varying depths. This only has one depth. Now, because all sound is going to be hitting it at an angle, no sound's going to be allowed to reflect straight back to you. So a big thing in recording studios, the rear wall, we like to put diffusers because it stops that slap back, that, uh, that high frequency uh, echo that comes off of back walls. Um, and this allows you to keep some life in the room, but it breaks up that slap back that's coming back at you. Now we've taken the radiator diffusers and we've actually surrounded them with our Prime Acoustic Broadway panels. And this just again, just mixes up some of the surfaces on this back wall. Get some absorption in here as well as some sound scattering, which means we don't have anything uh, 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 too lively or too dead. No uh, direct reflections coming off the back wall. Just a nice mixture of uh, materials. Got some bare wall surface, some absorption, and some diffusion. Uh, really makes for a nice combination on the back wall in the recording studio. So now we're in the front corner of the full compass control room and we have more Broadway panels uh, installed. And these Broadway panels are in the areas of primary reflections up in the front. So on the side walls here and behind me on the front wall. Uh, these Broadway panels are two inch thick so they're very broadband uh, fiberglass absorption, fabric wrapped. There are control columns so they can be purchased as an a, a individual panel or they also come bundled in our London 10, 12 and 16 room kits. Uh, so a very uh, a nice nice handy absorber and very broadband so they work well in those primary reflection areas. But in the corner is the real magic for any studio control room and this is real uh, professional bass trapping. And this is our Prime Acoustic Max Trap. So these are two units stacked one on top of another in this corner and what you have is a three inch thick fiberglass front panel which gives you broadband absorption all the way up into the high frequencies. So it's not just a bass trap, it is truly a broadband absorber. Behind this fiberglass panel you have airspace, a pocket of air cavity created by the frame behind it. Uh, and what that does is, is further increase the low frequency absorption out of that panel. Now inside of that airspace the real magic is a sheet of mass loaded vinyl. And this is really heavyweight vinyl they use for soundproofing. It's one pound per square foot and just hangs in there as a diaphragm. So essentially it kind of takes whatever you throw at it as far as low frequencies go and that's where it's going to resonate and take that energy out of the room. Call it a self-tuning bass trap or a bass trap for dummies. You really don't have to worry about uh, the, uh, what problems are going on in your low frequency in your room. You can throw in the max trap and it's really going to uh, uh, help you um, attenuate all those low frequency issues. So very, very handy. Um, elsewhere in this room we have more Broadway panels all around the upper perimeter just to bring down the overall reverberation of the room uh, slightly and as well as the stratus cloud panels up above the mix position. So having those stratuses uh, up there just stops any reflections that might occur from the ceiling and just makes it a little tighter and more intimate at the mix position. So I'm Jay Porter from Prime Acoustic here at Full Compass. If you have any questions about the Prime Acoustic products go to fullcompass.com or give your sales professional a call.